Hello and welcome to Kick It Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to look how to actually create and save macro. I noticed by looking through the documentation or other things, it's not necessarily clear and take a little bit exploring. The advantage of the macro that we can create complex area, um, complex kind of flow, and after by combining, we can share with other people or reuse in our future projects. So let's go begin by creating a simple Perlin. And we also will create just a simple output. So let's go ahead, just add overlay output. And again, this is purpose just to demonstrate principle. And we can work on more complex still later if we need it. So right here, you can see we have it straightforward. And if we're going to the filter, select, for example, terrace, you can see how it's modified. So we can add all complexity inside the arrow terrace. But if I want to take this complexity example and save as a macro, I can just select this node. Or for example, let's go just select maybe the other node. So we have a two nodes. We'll blur out a little bit more. Okay, we can select these two nodes, right click, and we're going to um, convert selected devices into macro. So when we click what notice right here, it's almost like a group them in a macro inside. So at this point, we can actually modify it. If we just double time click on the macro with the left button, you'll notice we have it macro properties where we can save as the presets. We also have it prop, uh, properties to enter macro. So let's go ahead. We'll go and um, type example macro for this. And we can just click save. So it's a save as a preset. At this point, let's go ahead and enter inside our macro. And you notice right here on the tab, we have a top level and we have our macro open where we can modify. Inside the macro, you find our two components that we added, terrace and blur. And we also have four additional properties that we're going to look at. So the one of them is macro in. So this is our input node. And we can also um, add additional ports if we need it. We'll look at this in a second. But overall, you can see right here we have it, our input. And same when we have it output, we have just output configuration. We also have it macro configuration and parameters. Let's look on configuration first. If we open in configuration right here, you have it um, after name. So I'll just put this one and also put a description. So we'll just type it in. You also can add um, additional icons and you can save them if you need it. In a pro version, you can also lock macro to this account so it will use it. Special seed number that only you can use it and nobody else. So let's go ahead, just select some icon preset for now and we'll go ahead and click OK. So right now, if we go back and remember, we add some information, right click on a macro and we'll go to right here, view macro documentation. You'll notice this is a description. We'll put it inside the macro. So sometimes it's very nice to go inside our configuration and add a little bit more description about what this macro will do. So you can go back after and kind of remember if your name is not very um, discreditable. Okay, so let's look at next. Now we'll look on parameters. You notice sometimes inside you have it more than just in and out. So you maybe have it mask input. Um, you may have it some additional parameters. And for this, we can add, open and modify those parameters. So as well is macro in, we can add new ports if we need it. So let's go to macro parameters first. And we can go ahead and click and you notice right here, we have it choose parameter. You wish create, scalar, checks box. And you can input other ones. For the purpose, we'll just go select color. Let's click OK. And we'll just click OK. 
So notice right here we have our parameter appear, the one we're creating. So I'm just going to select to anything. It doesn't really matter. At this point, we're just working working as the um, example. As well, as we're looking, let's go to add new port. We can look on the settings. I feel default. We'll click OK and click OK one more time. And notice right here, now we have a new port input. So you can connect this to, for example, modulations or anything you want. And this is just example so we can preview. If we're going back to our macro, notice now we have a new port. So if we need it, input another one. For example, let's go create another Perl. So you can connect to your port. As well, if we're going to open properties, you'll notice right here we have a new parameter. We can add it color. So it means you have additional parameters you can specify inside the macro. And you also can specify additional ports if you needed to input more than one um, generators or other effect. Same apply for our output. So we can create more than one if you need it for some reason. Okay, so right here we created our macro. The next thing is important for us to save this macro. And to do this, we'll just click on a macro. We'll go to device command and right here you can see save device to the library. So if we click, it's open our name macro, whatever we name it. Then we can select any of these um, folders or we can create folders later. And you just click save and this will save it inside. So let me do one thing. Okay, I want to go to configuration, load, okay. Okay, I look okay. We'll go right here. Let's go set name. There's macro. Okay, next we'll go device, save to the library. And let's go to the root and click save. So at this point, if we go inside the macro, you can see right here we have our macro saved. We can preload macro and here our second. And you can see how it is um, useful to create some macros from presets. For example, we created very complex um, adjustments. We can just go ahead, select them and create the macro from this so we can reuse in the future. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. And please remember, visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.